よ全力で走る。A クラスに上がるための手助けがするただただし俺の詮索はするな彼女を離せ俺の詮索はするな彼女を離せ俺の詮索はするなあんた人生終わったな If I may I'd like to pose an interesting question. Are all human beings truly equal? These days, everywhere you go, there's talk about the fight for equality. As a wise man once said, heaven does not create one person above or below another. People like to throw his words around. But that's not the whole quote. He goes on to say that while we are all equal at birth, pretty soon things begin to change. Academic effort is what sets some people apart to rise above the others. At any rate, humans change over time based on their actions. Truth be told, at the end of the day, equality is just a fantasy. And most of us go through life denying the fact that we live in a meritocracy. It's a new day. It's a new life. For me, you are the one who I'm feeling.
全ての人間の道具でしかないこの世は勝つことが全てだ俺の詮索はするなこの世界はお前の知り合い深い理由心に見えるそしてより強い側が相手を包み込んで全ての人間の道具でしかない Ayana Koji has two faces. The brighter surface level facade he shows his classmates as a developing underachiever, and the much more realistic, darker, sociopathic side that he hides behind the mask, who is still a prisoner of the White Room. Ayana Koji's upbringing was one of solitude and isolation. The White Room was an environment where children were exposed to extreme learning conditions. In order to facilitate development. For Ayana Koji, the passage of time was a sort of fiction, to say the least. All he could remember were the white walls that surrounded him. He was kept under a watchful eye because he was remarkable by every standard. The motivation of the White Room was to create artificial geniuses, to prove that your genetics don't matter. But the environment one grows up in does. In other words, an experiment on the concept of nature versus nurture. By educating children from as early as an age as possible, they could become elite. Jotaka. No matter what, you must always remember this. To have great power and refuse to use it to your advantage is something only a fool would do. The White Room was established 20 years ago, founded and headed by Kiyotaka's father, Professor Ayanakunjai. The White Room started from the first year of the first generation's life, with new generations being formed annually. Each generation is educated under different leaders and receives the corresponding education. Then, it is verified which group had the most effective education. Hundreds of children have been trained under the White Room's education system. Children of different generations wouldn't have been able to see each other. Although they were in the same facility, they did not know the appearance and names of anyone else but themselves. Most of the children raised in the White Room have their own problems, and so, they cannot be put to good use like contributing to society outside that facility.